Hey what's up guys my name is Wasi and welcome to my brand new After Effects tutorial. In this tutorial we are going to create really amazing simple logo animation so let's see what we will create today. This video is sponsored by Mixkit. Mixkit is a free website for online video creators. You will find here tons of free assets like stock video, stock music, sound effects, video templates and lots more. All assets are 100% copyright free and no attributes and sign up required to use or download Mixkit asset. Click the link in the description box to visit Mixkit and download your free asset today. If you want more tutorials like this then please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Ok so let's get started. Ok so first create a new composition. Let's call it logo animation. And I am going with 1920 1080p frame rate 29.97 and duration 6 seconds long then click on ok. Now import our project files. You can download these project files from link in the description box below. Ok now select our background and place it into this timeline. Make this layer 3D by clicking here. Then press P on your keyboard. Position Z set it 1500. And press S and make it a little bit bigger. Perfect. Now select our logo and place it on this timeline. Make it a little bit smaller. Then right click, then choose pre compose, then select mobile attributes and rename it to logo. Now go to effect and preset window and search for Vegas. Then select this effect and apply onto this logo layer. Then segment set it to. Then color set it orange you can use any color you want then blend mode set it transparent then width set it 2.50 uh, and hardness set it uh, 640 then midpoint opacity set it minus 280 then midpoint position set it point triple nine Okay, now go to effect and preset window and search for glow. Apply on it. Glow threshold set it 100%. Then again add uh, drop shadow. And uh, distance set it 13. Softness set it 5. And opacity set it 100%. Now go to beginning of this animation, then set a keyframe on length, then value set it 0, then go to around uh, 1 second 25 frames, then value set it 1, then again go to around 3 second 25 frames, and length set it 0. Now go to beginning of this animation and then set a keyframe on rotation set it 0 then press u then go to this last keyframe and rotation value set it uh, minus uh, 340 perfect now select all keyframes then press f9 make this layer 3d as well okay now Select this layer, then press Ctrl plus D. Now select this second layer and move it few frames forward. And then change the color to white. You can choose any color you want. Okay, now go to project window and create a new uh, composition. Let's call it reflection. Then click on OK. 
now select our logo comp layer then place it into this timeline then select our reflection map layer then place it into this timeline now change this layer track mat to alpha mat now go to effect and preset window and search for cc glass now select this effect and apply onto this layer then go to surface then bump map set it logo and softness set it 50 height set it 100 and displacement set it minus 160 then add cc blobby lies then go to blobbiness then blob layer set it logo then softness set it 15 and cut away set it 45 looks good to me now go to logo animation then go to project window and then select this reflection comp then place it into this timeline now move this uh, layer few frames forward now change the layer uh, blend mode to screen also make this layer 3d by clicking here okay now press t on your keyboard then set a keyframe on opacity set it zero then go to around two second uh, 25 frames then value set it 100 then go to four seconds set a keyframe and then go to around 5 seconds and value set to 0 now select all keyframes then press F9 ok now select our logo comp and place it into this timeline and put it below the reflection layer now add fill on it change the color and move it few frame forward something like that now press T then set a keyframe on opacity, set it 0 then go to this second keyframe and then opacity value set it 100 select this to keyframe then press F9 make this layer 3D as well Now select this layer then press U then press uh, hold down shift then press T then set a keyframe on opacity then go for a few frames then value set it 0. Now select this two keyframe then press ctrl plus C now select this second layer then press U and then simply paste it. Okay, now select this um, third logo layer then add bevel alpha and add drop shadow opacity set it 100 percent distance set it 13 and softness set it 5 ok now create a camera so right click new then click on camera select our background then press S and make it big a little bit 
now create a null object so right click new then click on null object now select our camera then parent it to null 1 and make this null object 3d then press p then go to beginning of this animation then set a keyframe on position then increase the z value something like this now go to around 3 seconds 15 frames then set the value to 0 now select all select these two keyframe then press F9 then open graph editor and then change the graph curve to something like this let's increase the Z value a little bit more Okay, looks good to me now create another null object so right click new then click on null object then select this null one then paint it to null two now select this null two then press p then set a keyframe on position then go forward few frames and then increase the y value something like that now select these two keyframes then press f9 open graph editor and then change the graph curve looks good to me now add text so right click new then click on text then type text make it smaller now press P then set a keyframe on position then go backward few frames then create another keyframe then change the position then press T then set a keyframe value set it 0 go forward few frames and value opposite value set it 100 then press shift u then select all keyframe then press f9 then open graph editor and then change the graph curve looks good to me now create a black solid layer so right click new then click on solid and then click on ok and put it down here then go to toolbar and select this ellipse tool then double click on it then click on invert then press F and increase the feather amount then press T and uh, positive value set it to 80 let's zoom in little bit so press P on uh, camera then increase the Z value little bit Okay, now add overlay change the layer blend mode to screen now split the layer and then drag this 
remaining layer to end of this composition. And that's it, our animation is complete. Press 0 to ramp view this. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial, have a great day and I will see you in the next video, till then peace out.